Troll, the degenerates of VR chat. So I did a video on VR chat about three months ago, uh -huh. and it covered a plethora of topics. Basically, the summary of VR chat in current day, like the communities active within VR chat, and my own experience with VR chat because I'm a seasoned vet in that area. Oh my God, three K oh, hours. No. <laughs> no. Don't worry, it's a badge of shame I wear. But in that video, I talked about for a minute or so the predators of VR chat because the game has a continuously expanding NSFW part to it. Oh and unlike God. its previous years, the main player base now is kids, which has resulted in some unsavoury events, to say the least. But when I covered this part in my video, I really thought nothing of it and went on to make more videos. But the whole reason I'm making this video is because I looked at my emails what recently. Is this picture, yes, man? it's an achievement like cavemen discovering fire. Because when it comes to checking my own emails, I have a deficiency of chromosomes. Sorry, Raid Shadow Legends, I did not get your email. But anyway, <laughs> my own tardiness <laughs> aside, waiting. I received an email from YouTube saying that someone was trying to take down that video. Oh. And I thought, well, that's fine. Maybe I didn't credit someone sufficiently enough. Or maybe I used too much of their own clip. But looking into the email deeper, it wasn't like that at all. The person was trying to take down the video because I talked about them and their conduct on VRChat. Oh. And they were trying to take down the video with the reasoning of copyright. And for once, my whole existence <laughs> on YouTube, YouTube stepped that. in and said, no, this is fair use. We're keeping this video up. Good. Thank you, YouTube. I'm still going to continue to sh** on your services, though. I have a case of thank that you to that person. I now have a subject for today's video, which hey. is delving back into the anal glands of VRChat to talk about the predators and infamous creeps that roam their servers. And I'll Lovely be talking content. about three of them that have had the most negative impact on VRChat. And this is going to be very disturbing. Just like when your lungs oh, freak shit. out when you detect you are manually breathing. You're doing it right now, aren't you? You're such a loser. Good luck uh -huh. with that for the next hour. Huh? But it is going to be very disturbing, and this is your warning. Now, before I do Are that, let me give you the warned? quick rundown of what VRChat is, because I've had to do that so many times throughout my videos. VRChat is a platform you can access through a VR headset, desktop, and even your phone now. The main goal of the game is to socialize. You can do this by going to different worlds that people have made or create your own. And you can also make your own avatar or just find one in a world. Now, there's multiple ways you can play VRChat on desktop, where most people will probably ignore you and treat you like the plague. Two with a VR headset and controllers where you can control your hands and head. And three, if you're Baby really Yoshi. rich, full body tracking where you can control oh, most of your that body. So and this sick. has led to the rise of such things as dancing and other NSFW activities we'll uh -oh. get into later. But that is VR chat. Uh -oh. It is basically Roblox VR, but a lot worse and a lot more rampant NSFW side to it. But the first person we're going to talk about is the most infamous and most well known. And that is Tech Gangster. No. You can poop in my mouth, it's okay. I forgive I you. <laughs> no, now, just by saying his name, those in the know how of the VR chat community have just got a chill down their spine, goosebumps, and a loss of appetite. And that is very hard to do to a VR chat veteran. Most of them have done some deplorable things. But there is a reason people have that reaction to his name. And a reason what people genuinely have a distaste for him. Because not only has he evaded bands left, right, and center, oh, like wow. he was playing Dance Dance Revolution, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> because he just keeps creating accounts because the VR chat team will not ban his IP. Oh He's my also God. done some very heinous and borderline criminal acts. And to oh my Lord. dismay, many people actually defend him and his acts. A majority of them being children. But what has he done to oh turn the God. VR chat nah. community against him? I think a better question is, what hasn't he done? Because every time- Watch people defend this shit, or just because it's online and it's not real. It's just fictional, right? It's just an avatar, so it's not real, guys. Right, right, right? Watch people actually defend that shit because of this. Oh my god. You come across Tech Gangster, it is genuinely like seeing Bigfoot for the first time, and very much is a recordable <laughs> moment. What? I'm daddy. Oh, look, she's uh, Yikes. Gang, look. Oh, right in this 13 year girl's mouth. Because what I assure the you, the aura of that lobby is about to get very, Bruh. very dark. And before I go into his activities, he likes to push the narrative that when he's inebriated, he is a very different person. And this actually isn't him, guys. He's actually a very sweet person when he's not intoxicated. You're sending me your address, or I'm doxing you. Socialized, I know, right? Going into a public world 
yelling racial slurs when he is whiter than the driven snow in Alaska. This black n on a quest. Oh my god. And just overall harassing people, usually just being very aggressive and yelling profanities at them. No, I'm fucking mad at you. You ignored me. What do you mean? Is that very nice? You ignored me. I fucking talked. He I just fucking walked in front of her and said, I don't care. I fucking was talking to you. But the worst part is. He's been known to target minors and Yikes. women in general. Say I'm sorry ten times. I'm sorry. 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 What the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She sounds like she okay. actually is crying. Okay. What the fuck? Do you think I'm I'm playing with you. I'm uh, I'm up here. And it gets even what worse the because fuck, man? not only is he 28 years old, he also has a VR chat family. A VR chat family uh -huh. is a very common occurrence in fuck? VR chat. It is definitely not my cup of tea. It is basically where people take up the mother and father role or brother and sister roles, but in VR chat, and it is also somewhat of a common occurrence for those to go very, very wrong, and some minors being taken advantage of as a result. Now, wouldn't you be happy to know Tech Gangster falls into fuck? this? Because not only has he been known to harass minors and women in general. I'll be a good boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being mean to you earlier. I'm sorry. Please pet me. What the? F but the worst of all, he has been known to target and ERP with said minors in public lobbies. I'm 13! You know what, you know what's funny? I still jack off to them. It's just a joke. I, I'm actually not like this, guys. It's it's just a joke. I don't actually like pedophiles and I really hate them. This is just to get a reaction out of people, guys. I just wa I'm just being edgy and this is just for the jokes. I'm, I'm just being so quirky, guys. Now, if you don't know what ERP is, it is basically banging in VR chat. Some people have something called Phantom Sense, where they feel what- ERP means erotic role play. That's the literal meaning of ERP, if someone doesn't know. Are you sure this video is on YouTube? Yes. They see in VR. But to test if people have this, make sure to do a blind right hook to the nose. Just can probably late. <laughs> Some people have equipment that sucks and cups to their genitals. What the and is fuck? linked to VR chat, so when someone touches their thing, it will activate IRL. Honestly, just don't play this game. But Tech what? Gangster does this activity with minors in front of other people in public worlds. So not only will innocent bystanders have to see this disgusting sight, but also other ch there are 13 year olds in this. Um VR chat. PG rating. That's why. In order to use VR chat or VR chat provided services, you must be 13 years of age or older. <laughs> if you are between the ages of 13 and 17, you must get permission from your ER, right? Hmm? Because every 13 year old is gonna do that. Children. So if you just joined an instance, and unfortunately you're in the same lobby as Tech Gangster. Well, grab your popcorn, because you're about to see a horror movie that will scar you for life. And if you say anything about the activities he's currently performing, to the very much disgust of your own eyes, he will either berate you or just block you, or <laughs> threaten to hack you, because apparently he's a prolific hacker. I right. have people in his VR chat family and friends group do that for him, when they fully well know what he's doing, and some of them are also <laughs> minors. That is oh, so he, fucked he, up! Thanks to the polar pig, silly! You can't just fucking change like that! Y'all are slowly fucking down to the fucking ground! Dude, I couldn't even understand a single word. It's actually very well known within the VR chat community that minors are the most common type of people to defend him. Now there are some terrible Yikes. acts that he has done IRL as well, such as abusing his ex-girlfriend with audio- Like, is there literal grooming going on with that shit, man? What the fuck, man? I said these sites are enabling Peter activity and they don't care about the kids. 100%. No, 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 100%. Literally, the thing we just showed up saying, uh, if you're between 13 and 17, you must go to parents' permission. 
is so that the R-Chat cannot be ho held accountable for this shit. It's ridiculous. You know who doesn't brag about being a profile hacker? Actual pro uh, profilic hackers. Jesus. <laughs> Proof. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know what it's called? It's called being a grass type and a fucking goddamn enemy is a flying type. It's called super effective. It's called a fucking big poke in your skull. That's what it's called. But thank God what she is fuck? now very far out of reach of him, if this is true. That was to his but the ex. unfortunate fact what is the fuck? Gangster will keep coming back, because VRChat has not banned his IP and he can just keep creating accounts. And he has an army of miners apparently in a Discord server to defend him. Yikes. This means that adults and miners can still be a target of Tech Gangster. Guess what I'm gonna do. Hot wings. Now, to Bro, this day, so he still regularly creepy. uploads to his YouTube channel, but most of his uploads are just not even his uploads. He has stolen videos from other people talking about him, wow. re-uploaded them, and painted the thumbnail and title to display that he is, in fact, innocent. And mm, suspiciously enough, not all the comments are bad. Some of them are actually very supportive, but other uploads <gasps> consist of him begging Why for money, abuse, often oh, on no. the videos he did not make. What the but fuck? he very much likes to tell everyone he did not do what he did, Right. Even though there is video evidence of him doing it. And right. most people in the VRChat community that have met him can attest the rumours about him are very much true. Even I can attest to that. I've met him twice. Yikes. Both times against my will and just the worst times ever. And despite the fact he likes to refute the evidence with excuses like he's been framed, it's only mm -hmm. when he's drunk he's like this. Well, and yeah, he had a messed of course. Up childhood, which is why he is the person he is today. I'm sorry, but if you blame your upbringing for garbage, it's like if you blame your upbringing. No, 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 no. Sorry, let me rephrase. If you use your upbringing as an excuse to do this garbage, you need to seek help because. By him saying that, that it's his upbringing, he literally says that he's aware of it, right? He would say he's literally aware that it's his upbringing and his abuse of childhood that did this. Like, I had, a, I had an abuse of childhood. I did. I'm not blaming it for jack shit. I'm blaming it for me having social anxiety, depression, and PTSD, yes. Oh, but I'm not harassing people over that. I'm not being aggressive towards people over this garbage. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Austrian painter was abused as a child, guess he is innocent. Yeah, obviously, obviously. Maybe valid excuse to tell the police that they will, of course, let you go even with all the evidence against you. Yep. There is always an explaining factor, but never just to find one. Yes, exactly. That's that. That was. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for putting my thoughts into words. <laughs> I'm I'm very bad at putting my thoughts into words properly, but that that is exactly it. It seems VRChat will never get rid of him, and you will find him in a room of Rainwild or a club world to this very day, because VRChat will not do anything serious about it. Now the next one already had a history before they even touched VRChat, and a criminal one at that. Now just a quick heads up, I'll be using COD points as a mm -hmm. reference to... <clears throat> but anyway, this person... As oh. a reference to... Oh. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. History before they even touched VRChat. And a criminal one at that. Now just a quick heads up, I'll be using COD points as a reference to... <clears throat> mm -hmm. But anyway, this person mm -hmm. is I'm Milky. Sorry I really ever, you know, happened. I mean, there's no forgiving what I've done. Who in their last right. stages of being on the internet had a career in VRChat 
as a VTuber. Because not only is it a 3D environment where you can load up 3D avatars and mm -hmm. track your movement like your usual VTuber, it also has Bullion! a camera system that will just let you green screen out your avatar. So essentially all you have to do to become a VTuber on VRChat is load an avatar, get the camera, put the green screen on, and then pop all of that into OBS and then just remove the green screen. And bada bing bada boom, you're a VTuber. It's also a key to note most VTubers actually do use VRChat for concerts and things, or just to show off their 3D model, or you're just filling in and you like to knock out a chromosome a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, holy frick. Frick! <laughs> Not again! But anyway, I, Milky, would be around 30 years old to this day. However, when they were 23, they committed a crime where they tried to and obtained COD points from a minor who at the time was 13 years old. Oh this would God. result in them being on probation till 2026 and uh, a 30,000 bail. This was before they found their identity as a female. Everywhere and when I go, describing I said events man. in the future, they would generate a range of excuses and blame other parties. Of course. But we'll get into that later yourself. on. Because after their criminal blame charges, they got relevant on Minecraft which is the same game they used to establish a line of communication with the minor from their previous conviction. But after discovering their gender and identity, they would attempt to be a content creator on Minecraft and join some SMPs, actually succeeding to get into one which was the 100 Baby SMP, where the goal is to get 100 babies in Minecraft modded. Hello, what? my name's Milky, and as the name implies, I love milk and pink. Yay! Now I've heard of some terrible Us? goals for an SMP and this takes the cake. But their membership of what this SMP would not last long. As they would not learn their lesson, as they began trying to get in contact with miners again and other members of the SMP. Requesting pictures of their faces and other Yikes. areas. Yikes. Now I'd rather not read Yikes. the messages out loud. Because I do not want to paint my walls with a new layer of oxygenated blood. But they were very <laughs> graphic and came across as very needy almost begging to see a picture of their face. Now coincidentally with the finding of their previous crimes and their actions towards SMP members and minors, members of said SMP would eject them from the SMP and produce multiple exposés on them, putting on full display their entire past, their current crimes and the potential of getting law enforcement involved. And probably since they were on probation till 2026, if they got in trouble again, they would go to jail so they would abandon their current alias and go under another. Of course. Now that is just their past before they got on VRChat. Oh god. Let's talk about when oh they got god, on VRChat. Oh my god, this was just before VRChat. Curry Noko, a VRChat VTube Twitch streamer that was mute. And if you're a seasoned VRChat mute. vet, you'd know never to trust a mute. Yeah. Not only could they lie about all the information they give you, but most of the time the Geneva Convention is just a suggestion for them. They are evil bastards but Milky's new name and platform would be leaked and tied to their past crimes. So they would rip off the dishevelled mask they were using and return as I, Milky. Probably because their allegations were following them wherever they went, whatever persona they were using, and they could not escape the mistakes they have made and keep repeating. So I, Milky would make an apology video. Oh and God. to say this is the worst apology video, probably worse uh -oh. than any apology video oh most no. people have reviewed, oh no. worse than the Logan Paul what? apology. And even wor worse than your it's on the same ukulele? Level as the guitar woman. It's on the but same basically, level. <laughs> in said apology video, they would apologize but say their apology was obviously not enough. And I cannot express how like sorry I really am for you know happened. I mean, there's no forgiving what I've done. Okay, great start. A realistic approach on what they have actually done and that they are somewhat irredeemable. But boy, that was the only good part of the video. They would go on to say that the news article saying there's hundreds of pictures of COD points is wrong because they only did it with a few girls. So yes, there is an article online about me. If you want to take a look, I'll link you to it or whatever. It doesn't really matter because not everything under is completely accurate. Like, for example, they talk about, if I remember correctly, like over 100 videos or pics of girls doing things. That's not true. Like, as far as I know, I've only had that done with like a few girls and even then have a very vague memory of it. Even if you did it with one girl, it's still bad. Yeah. And then they go on to blame the police department. Saying what? that when they found the computer filled with COD points, when they were arresting them, they did not show her the pictures. Um, but basically, when the cops came and got me, they were like, oh, we're confiscating your computer and we found a whole bunch of stuff. 
they never actually showed me anything. They didn't show me any pictures. They didn't show me any videos. Like, they didn't show me anything. Why would they show you? So the fact they knew you... there was COD points on that computer, and the fact they admitted a few seconds ago that the article had been wrong, it was not hundreds, it was just a few girls. Why would you need to see the evidence when in the current time you are being <coughs> arrested? A crime of which Legit. you already know you are guilty like, of. Like, why? I don't think it would have been wise to disrespect the victims and their parents what the by fuck? showing the perpetrator of said pictures one last time. Yeah. They're trying to show this as an injustice when it obviously is not when they've already Yikes. admitted they've done wrong. And the final cherry on top- They're trying to betray us. Uh, they didn't show me the evidence, so it doesn't actually exist. So it's actually not that bad. That's what they're trying to say there. Top is, they didn't look like they belonged in jail. And the fact they had no control under their actions under mental health. Of course! Even the inmates and the cops. I, I can't, man. Like, people that blame their mental health on literal crimes that they commit, those people are making it so that quote-unquote normal people think less of mental health and take it less serious. It's so ridiculous. Both parties looked at me and said, what did you do? You don't look like you belong here. Because it was something that happened at the time I had... Right. You don't look like you belong here. You don't look like you belong in jail. Like, what sort of excuse is that supposed to be? People like them don't belong in jail. They belong in 100 of... Oh my god, bro. Bro, chill, 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 chill. Sorry, I blasted a planet. It's because my father went to get milk. <laughs> oh. You don't look like you belong in jail. People go to jail for tax evasion. Like, what are you talking about? You don't look like you belong in jail. No control over. Some of you may think I'm stupid for saying that, but I'm being 100% honest here. But the main message of the apology was that they want people to leave them alone and give them another chance. Satisfied with who you are and the things you do, if you're just going to go hating on people for like, I, this happened like a couple of years ago now, and people are still hating on me for it. Instead of just accepting the fact like, oh, she changed, so we should accept that and help her move forward instead of spreading hate and making the situation worse. But it's clear to see after this trash can of a response, no one accepted it, they deleted the video and went into obscurity they once deleted again. It. Would you but look that at was that? the end of iMilky, and nobody Would you knows look at the that? Just deleting their it. current alias to this day. But they could be streaming on Twitch under any username. Jesus so good luck Christ, sleeping that... with that one tonight. Thanks. The last person we're going to talk a lot. about is Feed the Potato. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Feed wait. the Potato. Hold on. Now, Feed the Potato has a similar what? story to Tech Gangster. In the way that he supposedly does EIP with minors. Shove it between my thighs. Really? I want to see if I can do thigh job now that I have fucking full body. Oh, what yeah. What the I fuck? Can. <laughs> you can try it. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. My vagina. No, get away from me. I am a minor. You're not allowed to do that. With a recording okay. apparently being captured by Verum. Verum is a VRChat documentary Literally YouTuber good on her, that like, focuses calling on him the up bad like side that. of good VRChat. Job. And has covered a plethora of these people. One of them being Feed the Potato. Going so far into depth that he discovered that Feed Yo, the Potato was in court What's for up? previous actions against a girl. And the fact he regularly advertises- Sorry, I lost the plot right there. They're watching a video of the degenerates of VRChat and goddamn- Him being Feed the Potato. Go and has covered a plethora of these people. One of them being Feed the Potato. Going so far into depth that he discovered that Feed the Potato was in court for previous actions against a girl. Jesus. And the fact he regularly advertises his Discord server and pushes miners he meets on VRChat to join it. And when confronted Yikes. with evidence that he's doing things with these miners, he basically said it's morally okay because what? it's just VRChat. <laughs> didn't, I, didn't I call that out earlier? Didn't didn't I literally call that out? It's okay, it's just online. It's 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 fake chat. It's just an avatar. It's just in VR chat. Ain't no way. Oh my god, ain't no fucking way. The fact there's a miner doing these oh activities my god! on the other side of the screen doesn't matter at all. And all the things he tells these miners on Discord, completely fine, completely fine. 
even supposedly dating some of them, you know, still fine, yeah. What? If you have so few brain cells rubbing together that you thought in any way that wasn't satirical, I'm sorry, buddy, you're technically brain dead. Now, after <laughs> Verum's expose and going to multiple people and telling them of Feed the Potatoes' bad habits, he would be blacklisted and banned from all the discords and all the groups. So after laying low for a bit, he would create his own group and his mm -hmm. own VR chat club because mm -hmm. he was banned from all the others. And unfortunately, <laughs> he would garner more Did attention from those that were underage. Yikes. The club was called the Menace Heaven. Quite fitting, actually, dungeon. isn't it? Is Menace Heaven, heaven Dungeon. And he had been using this server to ERP with miners and just overall get in contact with them. And the most worrying part of all, he manipulated them to defend him when Verum started poking his... Well, great. I can't even read this because of this. I will say, though, I trust... The trust is a bit down in the dumps cause the fact you even have him added baffles me. I told you before that he's been on my ass about you and I have been trying to get him off of me. And I hope this was the only... This was the only to do so and I messed it up. It mainly started cause my name was mentioned in this video and I didn't like it, but now he knows I'm a friend of yours and wouldn't leave me alone. It's called blocking him. Forgot that was a thing. God, I'm fucking stupid. Last thing I want is to hurt you for a third time. I should have just blocked him. Can't dwell on it. No, I guess. I'm sorry, Potato. This wasn't meant to happen, period. Just block him. I have now. I just hope that... I just hope what I could have said won't do anything. I'm sorry, Potato, but I would rather have told you this than both of us finding out. Only we can tell in due time. I'm just disappointed that you allowed yourself to get black out drunk and get on the call with a wannabe VRC detective. Like, doesn't that go against this entire code? He was on call with a miner while said miner was black out drunk. Like, send me screenshots. It's not hard. Regardless of no screenshots or not, I recorded the combo, so it's enough to shoot some fire. It just adds to all the BS we have. I can't read that, bro. Uh, but, yeah. Seems like he's just trying to turn the plot around on someone. So, from what I understand, some... Well, he's calling it VRC Detective. Talk to Winter Puppet here. Yo, thank you for the sub! Thank you for the prime sub! Welcome! Thank you so much. Thank you, Neptune. Maybe underscore Neptune underscore has subscribed to the channel. Chatsu, welcome. Maybe underscore Neptune underscore to the Chaos Crew. Welcome, Your subscription welcome. adds a splash of fun to our gaming quests. Let's journey through the digital realm together and make every adventure epic. It's so ridiculous to me that this guy, Pete the Potato, is trying to turn it around. Like, saying the other person is in the wrong because the miner would have been blackout drunk. A miner was blackout drunk. Like... Holy shit, there's so many levels of wrong on this. Head around so many levels of wrong! Even to the point where some of the people Verum had interviewed had withdrawn their statements. And completely deleted all the evidence and DMs they had sent to him and then went straight back to feed the potato. I and it, it gets even worse because when some of them are confronted with the proof and vital evidence that he's a terrible person, some of them just ignore Verum's pleas and tell him to leave. He was in a black hat lobby fucking with like 12 and 15 year olds like making them whip out their d**ks and like in a girl avatar and he's trying to have them fuck him and shit. Like, it's in my video. I literally exposed him and he got blacklisted in all the clubs. Uh... Well, you can leave if you have a problem with him. I mean, That's not I'm more of the a person point. that likes to hear... Like now, Feed the Potato being around 24 years old now. That is my guess. My guess is that was a minor who was literally brainwashed like that. If you don't like it, just leave. I... I'm an adult. I feel like I can do whatever I want to. <sighs> Jesus Christ, poor person. Poor, poor person. Has unfortunately racked up a lot of victims. 
even wait until some of them are 18 years old so he can involve them publicly in a polyamorous relationship. That is literal despite grooming! despite all the evidence, Verum's efforts were in vain. Nobody in that server or associated with that server listened to him. Now, where is everything today? That video was 10 months ago, and obviously a lot of things should have changed. Well, not really. Feed the Potato is still active. Mm. Still online and somewhat still pumping out wilds he's created. Such as the Menace Dungeon, which I hope is not a sex dungeon. And still active on his TikTok to occasional support. However, no mention of the Discord server. So it's up to us to wonder if it's hidden and still there, or just been deleted. And according to him, his main focus now is school and the military. But once again, the RChat moderation is a joke. Despite all the active kids that overrun the overall population Yikes, of that game, Yikes. they are still powerless to do a deep dive into their own community to find these people. And That's still to so this day, crazy. most of them are allowed to roam the servers of VRChat freely and uncontested. And unfortunately, I've come to the conclusion that this is now normal for VRChat. It definitely shouldn't be and wasn't always like this, but it is now. And that is going to conclude the video. If this video gets taken down due to false copyright, well, <laughs> you saw it first, I guess. And as always, I hope the like and subscribe button highlight when I say it, or offend my British accent if they will. But thank you very much for the videos made by Verum, Toastify, and VRChat Moments 2023. These are the people Holy educating shit. and exposing these people. Good. And thank you to all the other creators I've credited throughout the video. VRChat has changed since the days of 2016 when I played it, but despite these people, VRChat is still a good place to socialize and make friends. Just be careful. And bye bye <laughs> Buh bye <laughs> That's insane, man. That is insane. I have no words. This is... Uh, I have no words. This is crazy. This is absolutely fucking crazy, bro.